Maximus analysis here for July 8th, 2016. We have broken above the Brexit highs, 21.19.50. Okay, not the exact volume that I would like, but that's fine because the price action is coming. And sometimes when you get to all time highs, there might be so many stops here that it might, a lot of the, basically the short squeeze comes from people covering. But again, you haven't taken out the 2135 level, but they are very, very close. What we do not want to see is uh, the 2060 area close below for next week. Uh, that puts us right back in the middle of the chop and that's not where we wanna go. I have to give you both sides of the fence. Again, the upside is 2139 and also 2160. And the level to hold are, is this level right here. Okay, we want them to hold that all week because again, it's just, we don't want to see them close below this. Again, it puts that us right back in the chop. We've been there before if you look at this price action right here. So again, my cautionary type of tone is to make sure that we don't have that same type of deal here. So we'll continue to watch it. The volume can get light. And then, you know, because again, we had, light, we had good volume here, light volume. Then we have another week. So we'll see what's going to happen and if they're going to continue higher. But they are holding this bull trend line that we talked about. And they're also giving you a higher low right here, that a pivot that we want them to hold. Okay, we have this, this one. And we want to hold this one. This one puts us at that 1981 area. And we want them to hold that one. Again, once they hold that, again, some people might say inverted head and shoulders. Uh, I see it, uh, shoulder, and actually you see strength more when you have a higher right shoulder. But again, we want this is still in chop, and we want to make sure that they have the follow through that, again, I am capitalizing on last week's newsletter and want to continue to say that, listen, we want to make sure there's no funny business going into Sunday and Monday's pr price action. But again, we'll continue to watch and go from there. NQ. Uh, we see that we're at this triangle, we're at resistance, but again, they've held this bull trend line that I have here, and uh, they didn't give them the volume that I wanted on anything, but again, with there being a potential for some short squeezing, things can be that it's not people buying, but shorts getting squeezed out, which can make them the move pop up more. So again, the highs for this one is around the 48.85 area, so if they ever got that and then saw extreme pop up, then we'll be like, all right, that's a short squeeze into potential highs, but we don't want to make assumptions. We want to just be prepared for both sides of the fence. And the other side of the fence is that we do not want them to get back below this 30, excuse me, 4,300 level. Uh, 4,300 level would be like, we're just still in this triangle of chop and we do not want to get into that at all. YM recaptures the 18,000 area. Again, I'll reiterate the volume wasn't that much. I was expecting maybe did it stops her over here? I don't know. But again, we want to see if they're going to get a short squeeze pop to the upside to take out these highs because then that would be the shorts getting, you know, again, it's not the volume sometimes of buying. It could be the volume of short people that went short and getting co in covering. Uh, we have CL on the opposite side of the fence that actually uh, closed below the 46, 47 area. And we want to them to stay above 44 and 42. Um, and not come to this $40 level and pierce it very in close, at least two to three weeks below it. With that being said, um, again, I said that there could be a potential of a head inverse head and shoulders, but we still have to watch and see how things are going because this one has gotten crushed so far. Um, we also had gold. Gold, again, <clears throat> uh, continuing higher. Again, I, I'm not going to chase this at all. And again, I, I think that there's probably will be a small little pullback that could potentially give you uh, something, you know, to layer above these previous highs. Now, TLT, which is the 20 year bond ETF, closed near its highs again. So it's like, oof, you know, want to make sure we're cautious. I believe in risk management. I believe that if you're going to go long, like I said in the newsletter, quarter, half size position. Reason why is because you have to manage risk during incisive times. Indecisive times means that you don't go all in because you don't know what side of the fence is going. I mean, last week it was chicken little. Everything's breaking, but price levels held and recaptured. At least we have something 
that I want to see closes, weekly closes, actually. I, and again, if it falls off a cliff or it screams up, I'm fine either way. But right now, we're just seeing a lot of choppy type of movement. Okay, let's go into some equity names. We see that Amazon continuing higher, layering above this, and uh, so far, so good. Again, with higher price action, maybe the short squeeze for people trying to you know, catch the top. Um, I still think there is going to be some type of correction, but for the not correction, uh, pullback. Uh, but again, we're looking at the 760 to 780 level for the upside. Again, it's a still about a $300 move from February's lows, which is crazy. I mean, it's a doubled. It's almost doubled. Uh, it's was around 500. So that's no what 70, 80 percent doubling or going up. But that's fine. Google still in a type of range that you're like, OK, you need to hold this level. OK, you don't need to get back below the 700 or the 620, 675 area because the pattern is just grinding. OK, the trend is up low, higher lows. So if we do look at the, the, uh, the lows, we could definitely put here. This is excuse me. This is one. Oops. This is one. This is the other still holding. Will they continue up higher? Not sure. But again, it's not the type of price pattern that is. It's OK. Again, it's it's just I, I see that it's going to either go one way or the other. And that's when I'm just like, you know what? I'll look for a better setup. Facebook continuing to make the higher lows that I put, not the best price action grinding, but we'll see what side of the fence they resolve to. Uh, and the only reason why I'm saying that is because, again, if you looked at the newsletter, I said this is a grinding pattern, just not to, you know, consider that you do have these higher lows in place, but it's still grinding sideways. So again, I'm looking for a better pattern than that. And, you know, kind of can just take it from there. So we'll just watch this and see what, what they do at these this resistance level. Because again, volume has been lower for a lot of things, but we just have to continue to trade and see how things are going. Uh, you had the bonds, uh, again, making new lows on, excuse me, not the bonds, the pound. Okay, making new lows and uh, continuing to, but the markets have shrugged them off from where our surprise. So we'll just <coughs> make sure that we are trying our best not to be overly biased one way or the other. You had silver. Again, silver coming to test this 200 day moving average right here. So again, it could be fading and we'll continue to watch this name. OK, it might be something that, again, you're fading this this 200 day moving average, saying that at least if it pops it down two bucks and go from there or you're looking to wait for retracement for a long. But again, uh, going back, uh, looking at the ES, we are in uncharted territories. Well, not really. We've been here before. It's just, will we just get the hell out the mud? You know, so I will continue to look and see what we do going into um, Sunday's open and try best to just see what we got setting up. So I'll be putting out the newsletter about Sunday. If you're not on the, the uh, distribution email list, please let me know. Email me at maximusanalysis.com or you could direct message me here. Um, because uh, I'm putting out great material for you guys to be prepared with all types of different price levels versus just guessing and using your gut. Gut is fine, but to have a price level that you can say tangibly, this is where I need, it needs to hold is where I think you need to be in regards to managing risk. So take care. Again, keep your powder dry. You do not have to be the first out the foxhole. And uh, don't regret. How about this? Don't regret that you missed this trade. OK, if we go on a 60 minute. On the ES, look at this. You know, again, you say I missed all this up, but again, you you take this same type of price action, right? And you say, okay, you got here. This is what it looked like, you know, last week, and then it continues, and then you're like, okay, you know, I still don't think it's going up. I think they're gonna roll, and you know, go from there. But again, it's 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 to not beat yourself up to say, okay. Um, why didn't I see that this was a low? I, I mean, you didn't see this type of price action. You said, okay, they came up here, short squeeze, and now, you know, you try and use your best judgment and say they can't come right all the way back here. But guess what? They did. But that's fine. 
that's fine. We just don't want them to come back. And let's look at some price levels uh, quickly. Um, we don't want them to come back into this range. You know, we don't want them to come back into, excuse me, uh, this range. Don't come back in here. I don't want you to see back below this 2066, this 2050, 2036. We don't want you to see back under 2100 if you couldn't, but that wouldn't be that unrealistic for them to go back and try to, but we want them to layer this level. We want them to layer these highs, right? This high, they can get back below, that's, that's fine. But these, we don't want them to get back below. We, so that's one high that we want them to not um, crush, but we definitely don't want them to get back below here. And now hopefully you can see why. So we'll go from there and uh, see what the market brings. So uh, take care and uh, trade them well. We'll see what's going on to next week. Take care.